In this video, we're going to take a look at absolute referencing in Excel, which fixes the references in your formulas rather than the relative references you've seen before. In Excel, we have the ability to use the F4 key to create our references. Each time you press F4, it will move through the different references you can choose from. So if we create a formula equal to B1, which references our growth rate, and press the F4 key once, it will change the reference to an absolute reference of dollar sign $B dollar sign $1. The dollar signs indicate that the reference is fixed and won't move as you copy the formula. If we press the F4 key a second time, it will change to B dollar sign $1. A third F4 key changes it to dollar sign $B1, and a fourth time back to the original B1 cell reference which is a relative reference. So let's get started with a simple absolute reference example. Here we have a growth rate of 10% and our 2025 sales of $50,000. We want to use a formula to calculate the sales for the next five years using this 10% growth rate. So we are going to take the first year's sales and multiply that by one plus whatever our growth rate is. We are going to make the growth rate absolute by pressing the F4 key. That will put dollar signs in front of the cell reference to make it an absolute reference. So that means that the cell won't move as we copy this formula down. As you can see, the reference to cell B1 is in each of these formulas. So our sales in 2026 is $55,000. Year 2027 is 60,500 year 2028 is 66,550, and so on. This covers a basic example of how to use absolute referencing in Excel. To see more examples, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.